taking a look at the EEE 1000 PC and uh, on the left here we have the 1000H which has an 8 gig hard drive and we have just this 1000 which uses an SSD. Um, upon first glance outward appearance are pretty much the same. The 1000H comes with a Windows XP sticker and a Dolby Digital sticker. Um, the 1000 just has the Atom sticker. Um, this is the Linux version. Um, outward appearances, the 1000H is actually, you know, the, the bezel here is quite a bit thicker than the 1000 about by about a half an inch. You can see it sits a little bit higher. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is do a boot up test, see which one loads quicker. And uh, then we're going to take a look at how fast it loads web pages, how this SSD compares when you're installing programs, when you're browsing, um, and take another look at a few different things. So I'm going to boot these up at the same time um, on the count of three. One, two, three. You'll notice that the 1000H actually gets past the BIOS quicker. I think that's because it's only initializing the one hard drive, um, where this has two different SSDs it has to notice and configure. So, pretty much the same there. You know, almost identical, even though this has a hard drive and this has an SSD. So, you saw it here, 1000 versus 1000H, pretty much the same performance. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is look at web page loading time. Okay, and the first thing I'm going to do is delete the browsing history on both of these machines so you know that none of this is fabricated. Um, so I'm going to delete that. Okay, and now we're going to visit a few different websites. One of the things I noticed with the SSD is it has a bit of a problem writing to the uh, disk. Um, it's really fast on loading stuff, but writing it's not, not quite as quick. So cache is cleared on both of these. Um, we're going to visit the exact same websites at the exact same time and compare loading times. So I'm going to click the first website. One, two, three. And right off the bat, you can see that the 1000H is just a little bit quicker. Um, you know, and my theory on this is that the uh, 1000 has to use that SSD to cache the files, and its write speed's a lot slower than its read speed. So now we're going to go to the next website. So about the same, not too much of a difference there. Now I'm going to go to another website which is on the EE e user forum and it has a bunch of wallpapers on it which you know may take a longer time to write to the hard disk. So I'm going to click on that and I'll watch on the bottom here. The left side is downloading two items left, one I'm left done and the right one just finished. So about the same. Now we're going to both head to the another website, Newgrounds. One, two, three, go. So you can see the 1000H, you know, just by a little bit, you know. In fact, this side, it's still, yeah, it finally finished. So, 1000H looks like it's winning it out as far as website load time. Okay, so now we're going to run an installation of Adobe Acrobat Reader at the same time. Same time.
ready, set, click, and click again. Okay, um, my camera cut out there for a second, but we can see this one just finished after one minute and uh, 25 seconds or so, and the SSD is still chugging along on the right side there. This is all done. And the SSD we're still waiting on. It says it has 40 seconds left. And uh, this is kind of confirming my suspicions of uh, that things were taking way too long to install. I think the writing to that SSD is just way too slow. While it loads stuff quick, getting stuff installed is going to take a lot longer than a hard drive. Okay, so uh, it finally finished at 3.07. Um, so that's a significant difference. Um, the SSD is great for loading stuff pretty quick. You know, it, it seems like it may be just a little bit quicker than the hard drive version. Um, but not by, you know, not by much. Um, it's almost negligible, the uh, load time difference. You saw the boot uh, set up. Um, but, you know, installing programs, if you like to uh, content create, you know, it seems like the SSD is just not going to cut it for you. Um, just installing Adobe Reader took three minutes and seven seconds versus one minute and 25 seconds on the hard drive version. So if you're constantly installing programs and uh, configuring, you know, the SSD might not be for you. If you're just going to use it to, uh, you know, already have your stuff installed and, you know, just load it, the SSD might be a good option for you. You know, this version's a little slimmer. Um, it uses a little bit less energy, um, a little bit less heat. Um, so let's see if we can find one more program to install just to kind of verify those results, see if they're consistent. Okay, it's another test. Um, we're going to try to install paint.net, which is a uh, image editing program. And I'm going to start these installation programs at the same time. Um, now, these are going to air out because I don't have .net installed. Um, but that's part of the, uh, the test here. Um, it, we'll see how long it takes to give the error. So I'm going to start the stopwatch and then start both of these at the exact same time. Remember, 1000H on the left, 1000 SSD on the right. So here we go. Start and go. So on the left, you get a message almost instantly that something's wrong here. On the right, it took, you know, couple seconds longer for that to appear so obviously the SSD is not looking quite so good when you're gonna have to install programs which is actually kind of a good thing because the 80 gig hard drive costs you know a hundred and twenty hundred and fifty dollars less than the SSD version so just a warning out there for you guys so basic overview 1000 H in performance is uh, quite a bit better just because the hard drive is able to cache much quicker, quicker than the SSD is able to write to the hard drive. So installing programs much quicker on the 1000H, SSD kind of slow. Um, as far as boot times, they're really comparable. Um, they both came up almost exactly the same time. SSD maybe had a split second on it, but that's about it. Um, loading files, you know, no real distinguishable difference in the load times between the hard drive and the SSD. So if you're in the market for an EE1000, I would definitely recommend the 1000H. Save yourself some money and get some better performance.